Hi there, Math 30-2, and we're going to tackle lesson seven here, prior knowledge. So let's share understanding what we have so far in this topic. We're going to be realizing that we need to understand the discovery of laws, that uh, of logarithms, we'll go more on that in detail, that it's the same thing as an exponent, just written differently. This is an example of our exponent, uh, two to the exponent of x plus three, then two to the exponent of x, just right over here. We're gonna also go in to investigate how logs and exponents are related. So you will realize this b to the x is considered to be the exponent, log b y x is considered to be the log part. And then we'll also use solve some problems that are related to that. So the first thing we need to tackle is understanding um, technology and determine the equation of a line of best fit. So we have a data piece of information right here, and this is just an example of a runner over the years was running, and it's just basically indicating how long it took him to do the 100 meter dash. Of course, at zero, the first year in 1960, he got 10. Okay, so in the eighth year from 1960 will be 1968. Then 1960 to 23 years later, that would be 1983. And then 1960 to 31 years later is 1993, sorry, 1991 and so forth. So keep in mind, this is years after 1960. So that means this is the time in seconds. Okay, so the years after 1960 will be your um, independent variable. So that's our X um, on the X axis and the times in seconds will be on our Y axis. We have to create a scatter plot. We're going to use our graphing calculator here, and we're going to go under stat, go to edit, and then we're going to interpret in that information. So zero is, course, uh, is corresponded to 10. You don't have to put the 10.0. The eight is corresponded to uh, 9.95. Okay, and the 23 is corresponded to 9.93. The 31 is 9.6. 9.86. The 36 is corresponded to 9.84. So these are the coordinates, if you think about it, on, on a graph. That's what we're basically doing right now, and the convenience of a graphing calculator will tell us that, uh, what the points will be when we make the graph. Okay, and then we have 45 is related to 9.77. And then our last one, 48, is related to 9.72. Okay, we got our all our graphs points here. So now we need to just turn on our graph ability by going second function, stat plot, and change the plot to be on. So click on the first one, we want it to on, so select on. We're gonna treat it as a, a scatter plot, those are the dots, and we leave all the lamb wall and L2 because that's the X list that representing that's the uh, L1 and the Y list at L2. And we're gonna use these little dots to represent this. We could change those if you wanted to, but I want the little square dots. So if you press, um, before you move on, check your window. So currently my window is saying that my smallest value for X, which is all of these, is zero. My biggest value is 50, which seems reasonable because 48 is the smallest uh, of, the, of the 50. Now leave your scale as one, my Y minimal, so y minimal, that's the smallest value. In that case, the smallest value of y is 9.72. So I just put nine there. I can even go to 9.5 to be more accurate. So why don't we do that? There we go. And the y max is 10. Leave everything else there. So now click on graph. You will see we created a scatter plot graph here. How can we describe the characteristics? It looks like it is a, a characteristic that is all represented in the quadrant one. Also, we can also say that it is creating um, a negative slope. So that means if one goes up, the other one is going down over time. 
So that is what it's representing in here. If we need to determine the equation, so if we need to determine the equation of the linear regression, let's make it to five decimal places, dp. That's another way of writing that. So we want y equals ax plus b uh, to represent that. Okay, so going back to our graph here, go under stats to do this. Go to calculate mode, and we're going to go linear regression, ax plus b. You can press 4, enter, or scroll down, press it. Now you want to go all the way down to calculate. Okay, here we go. We got our... Uh, Regression here, y equals, we want five decimal places. So what is our a value right now? It's giving it to us right here. Negative zero, zero, five, four, two, one, two, three, four, five. So we have to stop at two. So z negative zero, zero, five, I believe it's four, two. Yep, four, two, four, two. And this is to the x. Plus now our b value is the y intercept, and it's stopping. Uh, it's going through 10.01. Oh one. Now we keep in mind we need five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five. Three, three, four. The reason why it was a four because I had to increase this five to a four. Okay, create a line of best fit. This is where you need to make it functionable. Where you go back under stat. Go under calculate under the same one you did earlier, linear regression. And we're going to go to under regression equation, second function, F4, which is under calc and trace, and you're making Y1 available. There we go. Now go to calculate again. Okay, now press graph, and you'll see there is your line of best fit. Most lines are between those, and that's what we want. So interpolate a possible world record time for 2007. Easiest way to do that now is we have to figure out how many years from 1960 is 2007. That's the first thing. So 2007 minus 1960. You're going to be realizing from that 2007 minus 1960 is 47 years. So we're going to substitute 47 into our equation just right over here to calculate that. I'll get you to do that. Now, let's give that a shot. Going back to our calculator mode, under calculate now, let's clear that up. So we got negative 0 0.12542 times that by 47. Now add 10 point Oh, it doesn't seem like it uh, took the negative in front of the exponent. Let's try that again. So we want to take negative 0 0.00542 times 47. We get the following. Add that to 10.01334. And we get 9.7586. Eight, six. So our answer for that is you will realize it, okay, so world record is the time y equals 9.75. So we go back to here, 586. So I could round that off to 9.876. And that seems realistic because if you go back to the question, it's between these two values right here and it looks like it is going down every, um, every, the more the years, the less the value. So that's basically actually correct. And then seconds, that's always want to look back on that. So that's one of the first things that you have to look back and how to use your calculator and so forth using technology. Here's another thing that you have to use for this topic is using technology to determine the equation of a curve of best fit, either through a quadratic and polynomial. So first things first, let's describe the characteristics of the trends in this data right here. It looks like it starts from quadrant one, two, three, four, and it starts in quadrant three, goes up to quadrant two, goes back down to quadrant one, and stays in it.
So it had mixed two end behaviors, as you see. Uh, the turning points, I should say, two turning points, and this, uh, the end behavior is from quadrant three to quadrant one. That's describing the characteristics of this trend. Now, determine the equation of the polynomial cubic regression to three decimal places. To do that, we'll need to go back to our graph, clear this, go under stats. Okay, go under stats, under the edit list, clear our list by going up and press clear, and then go up this, press up and press clear. Now, the question is, which one is our L1? We've determined X earlier, so this is our X value, X value, X values you should be putting in corresponding to that graph. So that means the first one, negative 3.947 is corresponded to negative 1.013. The next one, we got negative 3.745, and that's corresponded to 2.0. 052. Keep going in that fashion. We're on now negative 3.14, negative, negative 3. Point, let me see if we can do that. Negative, no, negative 3.14 is corresponded to 8.035. Okay, negative negative 3, negative well, actually 1.366 is to 7.142. Now we have 1.25 and that's corresponded to, oops, 1.25 should have been here. And then that is corresponded to 4. 0.012. And that leaves us for the last one here. 1.793 is corresponded to 10.225. So now we need to understand this is a cubic regression. So we go under stats, we go to calculate mode, and we go to cubic regression. And then click all the way down to calculate. And now we got our values for our A, our B, our C, and our D. So let's just include that value here. There it is. So our B value to three decimal place, Y equals 0 0.843 X cubed. And now I'm gonna take three decimal place for that one, 2.58 seven so as a plus sign there 2.587 x squared now we have a subtraction sign for the c so minus 2.347 2.5 3.47 x and then it leaves us with the last one here, 1.257. 1 1.257. This is our cubic regression. How do we create a curve of best fit? The same thing like we did earlier, we need to go under stats, calculate, cubic regression, and then go under store reg regression, regression equation, go to alpha, trace one okay calculate and now we want to go to graph okay now we don't see everything in our window in this case because of our values so let's go back to our window and change our x value the smallest x value is negative three so we could treat that as negative four our biggest x value, if I was not mistaken, was 10. And our smallest y value is negative one, so let's go to negative two. And let's leave that as this too. Okay, there's our graph. 
looks something like that, and there's our uh, curve of best fit. So let's interpolate the value of y when x equals to the following. To do that, we put x into the following to actually figure out what um, our interpolate value would be. So to do that, we would do y equals 0 0.843, 1.54, cubed plus 2.587 squared this time 1.543 minus 2.347 times that by 1.543 close that bracket and then add 1.257 so you will get an answer, of course, by doing that. I will quickly type that in my calculator here. And that will be the end of the review of this topic due to the fact we've done everything else already in the previous topic. And hopefully we get something that is correct here. Um, 2.347. Close that, open that bracket up. 1.543, close that up. And then we have 1.257. I get 6.889173 three decimal places as we did it like earlier. We should stop right there. So 6.892, is that realistic? If you go back to the graph, uh, where it's approximately, well, if we trace the, the values here, you're gonna be realizing we want X to be uh, 1.543, okay, so we want 1.53, looks like it's going higher, 1.53, okay, it's roughly around there, and it's on the graph right now, and you will realize it's boxed me right there, yeah, six, it looks like it's in between that, so we're on the right track here. So let's end off with a prayer in this topic here. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, on Thank you, Lord, for having the opportunity to learn more things on logs and exponents coming up here. And with the review of regression from cubics to quadratics to even linears will help us learn more on this topic. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, on Okay, have a great term here, guys. If there's any other questions, don't hesitate to ask me.